To get started creating an email account through Amazon, we're first going to go ahead and click on Workmail or search for it within the console settings. Once we do that, we can go ahead and create an organization, in which case we can do a few things here. We can select an existing domain. We can create a new domain through Route 53. We can also tie in domains through other providers. And in this video, we'll go ahead and use the test domain here. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a name like Leando test and create this organization. Now this can take up to a couple of minutes. However, in my testing, this does just take a couple of seconds. So this should be created shortly for us. Once this is created, we'll go ahead and take note of the default mail domain. We'll save this for later. And then we can go ahead and add, verify, and configure our domains. This is pending verification at the moment, but if you refresh, it should be verified shortly. In the meantime, we'll click on users, create user, and I'm gonna go ahead and create one for myself. And click on next step, and we can create a password as well. Once the user is added, you'll note that it is listed, but not enabled. We can change that by clicking on our name and then enable user here. Once our user is enabled, we can go ahead and test out the domain by heading over to our domain site and then slash mail. Hitting enter will bring up our work mail console where we can go ahead and type in our email address, username and password. And once we do that, you notice that we are now signed in into our email account where we can check out incoming emails, send emails, as well as have our calendar view of upcoming events.